Hi guys, uh, thanks for joining me again. So uh, in this short video, what we're going to do is just basically try to connect Docker containers using a different network other than uh, Docker Zero, which is the default that you get when you just finish uh, installing and running your containers, installing the Docker engine and running your containers. So uh, what we're just going to do is uh, run two containers for example and try to have them talk to each other using a different network other than docker zero so we've seen how you can do that with uh, vms for example where you you've got vms that run on a single host or on two different hosts and they talk to each other so let's see what that looks like with uh, doc containers and without wasting too much time we can just move to the terminal and see what happens. So the network we're going to work with, we just have uh, two containers with uh, a single host at the moment. And uh, this, we also have another host here, but we're just gonna focus on, uh, focus on this. That's the first host here. So um, what we have is uh, on a host, this Ubuntu system I'm using, um, if you have your containers running, it means by default, they should be connected to uh, Docker Zero. And uh, if you need any other connectivity, you can create a network that you'll be able to connect them to as I tried to describe here with the green uh, network here. So let's just jump into that and see, uh, just get my terminal here open. I'm gonna use this terminal down here to run all the uh, host commands that's for the container let's start by checking to see if you have any container running that's if at all there's anything running we should be able to see that so uh, these are the images we have and none so none is running so we can still try to see all containers even if they're running or not so you can see that i have uh, quite a few here but uh, i am working on the assumption that you have installed uh, docker already and you have probably uh, pulled some images from docker hub if you haven't already uh, don't worry because if you try to run the um, container and you specify where the image is supposed to be pulled from it's gonna do that for you even if you uh, do not download it beforehand so we'll just go straight right into it I need to start up uh, that's the container run one so let's start with uh, container container one right so uh, we've checked the running containers we have uh, none at the moment so we'll just run uh, sudo uh, docker run right so we don't need any um, external access so there's no need to publish any ports or do any port matching with the host so just uh, docker run we want it to be in a uh, interactive mode and it should be removed when the container is talked the name should be container one and the image um, we want to use is the latest version of ubuntu and give us the uh, bash terminal what's missing okay uh, dash dash name so we have one container running so this is this is container one right let's have another terminal open this terminal um, and uh, we can do just the same for container two so uh, run interactive mode so i want the name to be container two I want to use the Ubuntu image, the latest version, that's the tag. And I want the bash uh, 
terminal okay so let's see yes so we have container two running so we have uh, container one and two that's fine so uh, the point is we want these two containers to talk to each other by default they should be able to talk to each other with um, that using docker zero so right now what we have is we have two containers connected to this host using docker zero but uh, at the moment this is like a basic ubuntu image that only comes with uh, just the needed um, tools for running like a basic os so there are things we need to install maybe if we need to check ip address we need net tools to be installed maybe we should just update so quickly we can just uh, update update that's going to okay we need that for both uh, update updates okay done done so what tools do we need we just need uh, to be able to check our ip address so net tools should do that so up install net tools uh, yes then we can do that as well here apt install net okay i'm waiting for okay apt install net tools yes so now we should be able to check our ip address using ifconfig so you can see by default um, it, it it gets assigned 172.17.0.2 that's from this network 0 0.1 and this ifconfig it gets assigned uh, 0 0.3 so if you have another container running that's going to be 0 0.456 and so on our host machine if you open the terminal so let this terminal represent um, our host on our host machine if you check uh, the ip address configuration at the moment you're gonna see this interface that's the interface that is responsible for that's the bridge interface the docker zero you see that that's that's existing already so docker zero uh that's the net that's that's this particular interface that is sorry this one docker zero so we have two containers they're already speaking or talking to each other well, we need to verify that as well but then like i said this like the base install let's just have ip utils that will allow us to be able to communicate that's using uh, ping let's have that running as well uh, all the installations i'm doing right now is basically for us to be able to test this so it's very possible that you don't need to install any of these to if you're sure your config is okay you might probably not need this so we should be able to ping so if we i have config one more time just to see your ip address so we can just see what's happening with the other container that's if we'll be able to ping that so you can see it's going just fine and this should be able to ping back as well we should be able to ping from this IP address so we can see 172.17.0.2 uh, yeah it's going fine and it should be able to talk to its uh, its default gateway as well which is dot one fine so by default we have docker zero here communicating with yeah this is the host what we want to do now is create a new network and assign that's connect these containers that's the two containers to this network so we're going to call that network a uh, we can simply just check the networks that we have available sudo docker network ls it's going to list the networks that we have available 
so we have network a b i created this previously but we can let's remove this just so we can walk through this together so i can do sudo docker network rm right remove so we want to remove network uh, a and we want to do same for network b now if you repeat this you should see just the default uh, networks that comes with a basic install without any form of uh, modification so now we can uh, simply just run the command to you know create a new network but before that we should be able to see what the network the structure looks like so uh, sudo docker network inspect we just want to see what this particular network look like it looks like that's just a json file where it says this is the name of the network for example the name is bridge one of these uh, this is the scope and um, this is the network so the default gateway is this that's the interface we are seeing right here and it's going it's still going to show you the number of uh, containers connected to this network so if you look closely you will see containers so this is a file too we have container two uh, container one and container two and these are the ip addresses and your mac addresses so basically when we create a new ip a new network it's it's going to be like this we're going to have something similar to this so how do we do just that so we can do on the that's on the host com host machine not on either of the con containers so on the host machine we can say we can use the network command so sudo docker network we want to create a new right we want to create a new network and the driver for that network we want the type to be a bridge we just want to create a bridge network and um, we want it to use this subnet the subnet we want to use is say we can use 192.168.2.0 and the subnet mask is slash 24 that's 255.255.0 then we want the um, gateway address right that's the default gateway to be the first ip address on that network so 18168.2.1 and we want to call this network network a right so now the network has been created so if we check again if we do sudo docker network ls now we have network a right so if we inspect network a at this time hopefully there shouldn't be any container connected to it so sudo docker network inspect so what do we want to inspect we want to inspect network a so you can see the name of the network is network a in terms of uh, the the type that's it's the scope local yeah within this host then it's a bridge um for containers we have no containers at all like there's nothing connected to this at this moment so now we can just connect these two containers to this network even if they're running there's there's another option that's in terms of connecting the uh, containers to your network you can just simply do that directly i mean while initiating the docker run command you can specify the network but that's if you already have the network existing remember we just we just created ours now so we just want to attach this connect this the running containers so what do we do now so uh, just we just need to connect the existing contain uh, running uh, the containers to the network so sudo docker network we want to connect right and another tip is you can just use tab to autocomplete to see what's possible after that the network command you can connect create disconnect or inspect you can ls that's list prune or remove so what we want to do is connect so sudo so docker network connect we what do we want to connect we want network a 
we want net we want to use network A on that's uh, container one. That's fine. We want to do the same for container two. That's fine. So now, if if we check uh, sudo doc uh, network uh, inspect, right? We want to inspect network A. Now you can see the file is a bit longer because we have uh, okay yes we have a network fine a bridge we just created and now in the containers we have uh, uh, the MAC address of this container the first container which is uh, container one then MAC and IP address as well then container two fine so now to verify this we can just repeat the same thing here, same, same command, I mean, to check what IP addresses we have. I have config now, it's going to show additional interface, that's ETH1 with this new IP address assigned to it. I have config here as well. We have uh, now 192.168.2.3. So now this is what's happening. We, we, we already have, okay, two containers, so now, they are connected to this. You can actually disconnect, use uh, sudo docker, that's docker network disconnect to disconnect either of these from docker zero if you want. It depends on what you're trying to achieve actually. But for now you should be able to talk, they should be able to talk to each other. So uh, I want to get to one nine two one six eight dot two z dot two dot three that's the other container you see it goes fine and uh let's just just so we are sure as well you can just i have config on the host itself to see what's going on so let's see let's see i have a lot of interfaces don't don't worry about that just we're just looking for this yes this is the interface we're looking for the bridge the bridge we're we're working with now so as it is right now, container one and two can communicate with this network you we just uh, created right now. So I think that's uh, that's basically it. So if you if if you want to have uh, another network, <coughs> another bridge, apart from Docker zero, which is the default, you can create one and attach and connect your network. That connect your running containers on or maybe you can start containers connected to this particular network for containers on different uh, hosts to communicate we can use docker swarm so that's probably going to come in uh, the next uh, video that's it so uh, thanks for watching that uh, brief demo and uh, i hope you enjoyed it and probably you get to try it yourself so if there's anything, any question you've got, you can always drop a comment. And yeah, I'll get to it as soon as possible. So be sure to subscribe and like, share. I'm actually on my way to uh, 1,000 subscribers, so do help me get there. Thanks, and catch you in the next one. Bye.